So what do all those things have in common? Just recently, I I I I posted on my Twitter that my sister's phone's phone was stolen in a church, and uh, it happened that uh, a couple of days after, a guy actually stole a phone in the same church, and he was beaten to pop by police officers until he actually released the phone. You know, the phone was on his body, and they didn't find it until he actually released released the phone. The phone was on his body. When I said he should not have been beaten even before they found the phone. People were like, wow, the letter found the phone on his body, you know. He stole the phone, he's a thief, he should have been beaten. You know, my sister lost her new phone, iPhone, iPhone 13 Pro. Pro. And, uh, and you know, I I just couldn't explain to people, these people, these church people, that uh, it there is no way he should have been beaten, he shouldn't have been beaten. So, you know, and, and they were like, it wasn't in the church, they were like, you shouldn't even say that publicly, you shouldn't, even if it is was that, Someone that was being arrested on the street, you shouldn't say that because it is the wrong thing to say, you know. Because you have to presume guilt before before you actually uh, dispense uh, uh, punishments, and you can actually see this in every uh, with uh, Bright also what he said about uh, what Bright actually said, what the Niger Delta police officers actually said, and you know what you see is the is the that they are actually presuming guilt before they actually uh, before they actually find that anything. So, it is not really about that, but the thing is that Nigerians actually have, and it is not just Nigerians, it is almost every people in the world. They have, they actually have, it is most pronounced, I won't just say it is most pronounced in Nigeria, but it is actually most pronounced in the third world country, which I hope we can actually teach. But they do not actually have a moral code, a moral consistency that actually tells them this is the right thing to do or this is not the right thing to do. They could express something seen in one moment. And they could express something insane, totally insane, the other moments, you know. And I've seen this almost everywhere, you know. Just yesterday, Carl Roger was talking about when you actually ran Nigeria, which country, which state would be the most productive, meaning that you know, skin tone actually has something to do with your, uh, with why Nigeria isn't as productive. So, you know, it is it is very difficult to actually navigate with the world. I mean to actually create a, even a good word by even the people criticizing the country it is very difficult to actually do this with people that have no moral code you know they have no moral consistency they i mean they they have no moral direction their moral compass is broken you know so this is the this is the problem this is the problem i, I can tell you that those actually talking about the, the woman actually saying she wouldn't abandon her child her husband because she actually has uh, uh uh, she has she she, she he molested their child. Who don't have a problem expressing another insane view some another time, you know? Like you know, man, I would say that said that men should be killed or something, you know. Everywhere you find them, you should poison them also, you know. So it is. I mean, it is everywhere. Their moral compass is broken, and I hope this is something that we can teach because if we can't teach it, you know, we are doomed. Honestly, this country is doomed. Honestly, if we can't teach common sense, you know that. In, innocence comes before you should presume people's innocence presume people's innocence sense before their guilt you know it is actually if you can't teach it we are doing right i hope it's something that we can teach it's not something ingrained in your body i mean i've always known it i've always known this you know probably what i'm yet telling most people <laughs> but honestly it is so messed up it is their moral compass is just broken they have no moral code no moral will be a consistent moral view of the view of the world this, this is a big problem you know and this is why the law of, of, of the, the uh, law in this country is actually so lax and it's a two you know they, they, someone could assault someone bloodily you know aggressively assault so, someone and the police will be telling you that to settle it within yourself within yourself the police in Nigeria will be telling you to settle this within yourself in, in, instead of actually filing an assault charge recently uh, uh, Nasir Rufa I think his son was actually one he tweeted something about a a, a a a soldier that actually beat his neighbor, a woman, you know, and the, the woman actually had a, a, a black eye, you know, a black eye, a, 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 that was blood in her eye, and you know, she, he was like, uh, they've settled within the house. This is a problem, honestly. This is a big problem.